guys, if you are watching over at uh, MSFK, my Malaysian Street Food Kitchen Facebook group, come and join us and say hello. We've got David Chia in the house. Okay, guys, um, if you don't have any other questions about Popia, uh, we're going to ask David about his latest thing in Melbourne Chari Makan. So, David, do you want to tell us how you got into this whole lockdown thing and the food thing and whatever? Yeah, I, uh, I think Melbourne, uh, as all of you know, went into uh, two lockdowns. Um, and uh, during the, the first lockdown, there was article. Uh, there was an article in Melbourne Charlie Makans. Uh, I think I posted it because I saw it uh, somewhere. And uh, they were saying that international students uh, have it quite bad here uh, because they are not qualified for any support from the government. At the same time, uh, a lot of the international students. Well, some of them are, are come from a pretty well-to-do family, but there are also those who are who don't, and they the students have to work. They are allowed to work a certain number of hours a week to earn their keeps and to basically survive. But because of the lockdown in Melbourne, there there's no job, no job for the students, and the students can't go home because you can't leave Melbourne and there's no flight and, and they, are, they, are, they are stuck here. And at the same time, they can't go to the university or, or the college because there's no class, no physical classroom. Everything is done online and uh, they are basically cooped coop up at home or in their room and uh, they are finding it hard to, uh, to make ends meet. And that's something that uh, I guess tugged the the strings of many Melbournians, uh, many even Sydney people, uh, because a lot of them were students before, and they know how it it, it must have feel. And uh, then they asked me, "What can we do?" So I was thinking to myself, okay, what do they need? They, they need a free meal. And Melbourne Chari Makan is about food. And uh, we have a lot of restaurants here in Melbourne Chari Makan. And we have a lot of people who want to help the students. So I said, okay, so why don't we get the restaurants and the cafes to cook free meals for the students? And uh, the members then chip in by donating to the restaurants. So that's basically the, the idea behind it. And initially I had to pair, I, I took upon myself to pair donors with the restaurant, sort of to push, not to push, but to nudge the, the restaurant uh, in doing it because they are doing it out of their own pocket. Some of them even tell me that they do not want any donation. And I, and then I salute them. Uh, because they say, I, even though we are suffering, we still want to do it because we know how it feels. Okay. And then cool. some of them not only do for students, but they say they open it to those who are unemployed, those who fall through the cracks, because there are those who are unemployed that are not eligible for any of, their, of the uh, government's welfare, like job seeker or job keeper or things like that. Uh, because they got their visa, so mm. they open it up. So it's up to them. So, uh, so one thing led to the other. We started with one initiative, and then uh, very soon, to my surprise, I get messages mm. from restaurant owners saying that putting up their hand and say that, look, David, I want to do the same time. I and then my question to him is, or the the owner is very simple. I said, you do it fine, I'll support you, but if you do not have enough donation to cover, will you continue? And the answer was a quick yes. He said, I will continue in spite of uh, my, my restaurant not doing well, and I will continue in spite of not enough donation because this is something I want to do. So I called them, I called this group of restaurants and cafes 
in this shape here. Oh, yeah, sorry, just let me mute it. Oh. That's very cool. Sorry, so, are these all Malaysian restaurants or are they like just uh, new restaurants? It started off with Malaysian restaurants, but uh, very soon uh, other restaurants came uh, to join us as well. Uh, so, you, you have, but predominantly Malaysians. But they could be a Malaysian restaurant cooking uh, or selling Thai food, for example. Okay. In oh. fact, uh, I have in this chat one of the owner uh, of Tian 38, Alan. Ah, oh, very uh, cool. Maybe, yeah, and maybe I'll get him to say a few things uh, in a while. Alan? Are yeah. You, Hello, yeah, I'm Alan. actually still in my restaurant. <laughs> oh, very cool. Alan, yeah. yeah. Great of you to I jump Jackie, in and help I'm a, out. I'm a ex Sydney cider as well, and I. What are you doing in Melbourne? To frequent. Uh, fate brought me here. Okay. So I, I used to I used to frequent uh, uh, your your Concord uh, restaurant many years ago. Oh Concord my West, is it? And uh, you're you're very very good chat with you. Oh, thank wow. you. And, uh, <laughs> Long think, time. Uh, Ancient history. <laughs> I think you you you, you dropped by uh, Parramatta when I used to when I when I opened uh, Papa Rich in Parramatta many many years ago. Ah, oh, okay, right. So, yeah. right. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a, a, a journey journeyman. So yeah, ah. I was uh, after that I went to Singapore, opened a couple more restaurants, and I landed in uh, Melbourne and I opened uh, this uh, modern modern Asian concept with uh, a lot of Malaysian and uh, Singaporean influences as well. What's your restaurant called, uh, Alan? Tian Thirty Eight. T I A N. T I A N Thirty Eight. 38. Okay. Very cool. Guys, you should look up TN38. <laughs> so, what... Well, uh, the, David's been fantastic. He, I, I refer to him as the spark who, who started this fire as well. And um, I can say when I first started, um, COVID-19 has done something a bit strange as well. It, it's, it's isolated all of us. It's distanced all of us physically. Um, and sometimes we're, we're, we're blind to actually see what's, what's going on because we, we can't physically be there on, on the ground to see what's going on. Um, it's funny, David mentions as well, the, the restaurants are also somewhat like the front line. And a few weeks ago when um, we started this initiative, I, I initially packed 30 meals and then I, I provisioned that. I provisioned about 35, 40 more. And I was a bit skeptical and I didn't know what was going on. My restaurant is, you know, it, it's not a big, big name restaurant. We only opened last year. And um, I didn't know what the turnout would be. But I, I got the complete shock of my life. Complete shock of my life. I had to scream back at the kitchen. Can you please prepare the rest of those food packages now? because the queue was so long. And um, through the generosity of many people, we've been able to up the ante. So we're not just giving food, we're giving care packages now as well. I've got, uh, I've got 500 bars of soap, which have been uh, delivered to me too. I'm getting uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, toiletries, uh, all these care packages as well. Um, I'm looking forward to my next run on Wednesday. There's wow. a lot of kids there suffering. There's That's a lot. That's amazing. Well done. well done, Alan. Yeah, everyone support Alan's restaurant. Do you oh, have... <laughs> well, our, our restaurant is nothing without the community. So it's a, yeah. it's a symbiotic relationship we, we have to have. If, if we've got that capacity to look after the community, I, I think it's our duty to do so. Sure, so, yeah. sure. So is your restaurant still open for takeaway otherwise? Or do you have any... Yes. Uh, okay, right. We're still doing takeaway and delivery. Um, right. We're, we're still chugging along there. Okay. Um, but yeah, M Melbourne is a, a shadow of itself, a real shadow of itself. It's, um, it's quite eerie because I'm in the CBD and the CBD is, is, a, is a ghost town. Is a wow. Ghost town. 
how's how are all you guys coping by the way in melbourne like you know it's hard for us to imagine because sydney feels like business as usual except for people wearing masks and not even that many people wear masks at the, at the moment really yeah uh, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bummer because uh, a, a lot of us uh, can't go out and we can't do our normal job like for me i'm a real estate agent so there's ah. no open for, there's no open for inspection allowed only online ones and uh, who who buys property based on online inspection or yeah. who rents a property based on online inspection they, they physically visit the property to decide yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. wow it's crazy so other other than uh, wonderful uh, guys like Ellen and the other owners of the restaurants and cafe, uh, we also have corporate sponsors. Uh, they would sponsor things like rice, uh, snacks, like what Ellen say, uh, toothpaste, uh, water, uh, toilet roll, uh, chocolate. Uh, and they send them to the restaurants so that when the student pick up the free meals, uh, they will also get the package together to go along with the um, the meal. And yeah. I have with me uh, my good friend Charles Lowe. He is the importer and distributor of Eco Brown rice from Kedah into oh, nice. Australia. And uh, maybe I'll get Charles to speak a little bit about. Uh, why he wants to do it because he told me that he was a student before. Very cool, and yeah, Charles. Sydney, and he was in Sydney before as well, I think. Everybody is in Sydney before, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, did you want to unmute Charles, yourself? Are you there? Let's just, okay, cool. Yeah, Charles. Hi. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Not very good at uh, Zoom. <laughs> no, we can we can we can hear you. We can't see you. Okay, you can see okay. me now. I think. Um, we can't see you. Yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah. Hi, Charles. So I, why did you uh, leave Sydney? Sydney? That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, I was in Sydney for well, uh, six years. It was a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> thirty years ago. Okay. Yeah, I was in uh, uh New South Wales. Uh, yeah. I, that time I stay in uh, Kensington in the oh, campus. Yeah. But I was oh, a yeah. student before. All <laughs> oh, right. What yeah. were you studying? I was uh, I was studying civil engineering, just like David. <laughs> Very cool. Like <laughs> yeah. my brother too. My brother did civil engineering at New South Wales Uni. But anyway, okay. <laughs> Malaysian yeah, students. I, yeah, I came to know about this uh, also through the MCM group. Yeah, through uh, David. And uh, to the uh, to David, I managed to work together with uh, I think seven or eight restaurants. So I I I know I distribute some uh, brown rice to them, and then with their help to distribute to the students. Yeah, because uh, uh, Jackie, Jackie, yeah. Just to let you know, when you say some brown rice to them, it is five hundred packs. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, it's. Yeah, it's find the pack of one kg. So uh, uh, one kg of rice normally can provide about ten meals. Yeah. So I hope uh yeah, those that when those uh students that in need they get the rice. Sometimes if they don't uh, go out to get fruits, they can also cook at home. You know, just just simple simple meal like find a uh, find an eggs, just find a bit of veggie. You know, yeah. So I, I hope cool. that can uh, really help them and <laughs> yeah. That's, right. I'm trying my best. That's what I, that's all I can do with the but need the help of all the uh, restaurants. I'm just delivering the the the, the rice to them. They are doing most sure. of the job. Yeah. Very cool. So you import the brown rice from Kedah in Malaysia, did you say? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yes. So what brand? What brand brown rice is this? Uh, Eco Brown. Eco Brown. Eco Brown. Yes. Eco okay. Brown. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. You should cool. try it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I should. I'm gonna look for it now. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Is, 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 is it distributed in Sydney, Charles? Eco well, Brown I right? think 
Uh, yeah, she, she at this Chinatown uh, IGA. You know, okay. this, yeah, this yeah, one yeah. Uh, near That's the Petty well Market. Known. Used to be a yeah, Petty yeah. Market there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah IG, in, okay. in the IGA. Yes. Very cool. The, 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 what the other products do you uh, do you supply? You other than the uh, brown rice, we also have a uh, uh, brown rice powder, brown rice beverage, rice drink, okay. a hot beverage. Right. And so also, that's your specialty. Uh, everything around brown rice. Yes, yes, yes. What got yeah. you into the whole brown rice thing? Well, uh, well, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been, yeah, I've involved in rice business for quite, quite a while. Yeah, so sorry. Some, yeah. So, uh, because uh, there's no importer of brown rice from Malaysia, so we thought we can uh, bring the brown rice here and. Uh, 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 try to expand also into Australia. That's why, that's oh. why we, we, we started to uh, bring in brown rice into Melbourne. How long have you been doing this for now? Uh, we've been doing for in Melbourne for two years. Okay, yeah. sure. But we and are how's it going? Brand in, we, are, we, are, we are old brand in Malaysia. So. And, okay. Singapore. Yeah. and Singapore. And Singapore. And Singapore. Right, yeah. right. Are you from Kedah originally or no? Uh, yes, I'm from Kedah, Alastar. Oh, okay, okay, very cool. Yeah. yeah. Fortunate. Yeah. Just to add, uh, there was one donor, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, instead of donating money, they approached Charles and bought his uh, rice beverage. Oh, right. uh, very cool. 50, 50 packs of them and asked Charles to distribute together with the rice to the restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very yeah. cool. Yeah, yes, one, the, uh, wow. one of the wow, <laughs> one of one of the uh, bicycle, uh, bicycle, you know, uh, what the the shop owners, yeah, wow. in some wow. yeah. right, right, well, it's right. Uh. Oh, oh. Yep. Are yep. they Malaysian as well or no? Uh, yeah, they are Malaysian. Okay. In okay. Late, uh, yeah, they were from uh, KL. Okay, so this whole initiative is mostly supported by Malaysians for Malaysian students, or you just let anybody? Um... No, we, we let anybody. As oh, long yeah, as okay. They okay. And they are right, provocative. Right. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure, yeah. sure. So, yeah. like, who is managing the whole thing? Is, is it like just everyone's just doing it off their own bats and whatever? How are you managing well, the logistics I'm, of everything? I, I guess I'm um, the, the one who is doing the background work, uh, the organization. But once it's up and going, uh, they do their own thing. Right. And uh, some, some even asked me a question. I think Ellen was asking me, uh, David, do you mind if I share in other food blog? I say, yeah, go ahead. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as... At the end of the day, we are able to provide free meal for the student. That's, that's what matters. Very cool. So how many restaurants do you have on board with this program? Uh, for those who are uh, providing regular meals, whether it's daily, once a week or twice a week, I call them regular because you can expect every week at least once or sure. more. Uh, at the moment, we have uh, 13 as of yesterday, but today Clang and Co came on board. The owner asked me to put him on board. So that's his 14th, the 14th initiative, although I've not updated the summary. A bit busy today. And uh, well, I just got off with a phone call. Uh, there is another restaurant. Uh, I won't mention the name, but I will mention the location. So Melbourneans. If I mention these two locations, the restaurant with two locations, you can guess who they are. Okay. Uh, in, in one restaurant is in Doncaster. The sister restaurant of the same name is in Mount Beverly. Okay. So they say they want to start as well. So possibly by maybe next week, you will have uh, 16 uh, restaurants and cafe providing regular meals. Sure, sure. Now, outside that, outside that, there are also restaurants who say that I don't, uh, they do not provide regular meals, but if you have a group of students uh, and they send a rep, 
come to the restaurant, give them enough uh, heads up, they, they, they are prepared to, to sponsor them. So 30 packs, uh, 50 packs, and I have on my list about seven of them. But because of uh, in Melbourne, uh, stage four lockdown, the movement of the resident is limited to five kilometers from where you live. So students will only pick those restaurants that are within their five kilometer radius. Yes. Um, it, it's, it's quite hard to describe, you know, like when, when the students come through, you can see that they're tired. We've been in, we've effectively been in lockdown since March with a short, a short break. And many of them have been unemployed or without income since March. So even they coming through with a meal, you can see they're tired. You know, you, you can see they're, they're really downtrodden. You know, some yeah. of them still, you know, can, they all say thank you. But you can just see in their eyes as well, uh, just by their, their mannerism, there's a, there's a humbleness as well. You know, these kids are young. Um, they, they're, they're very idealistic kids, you know, they're, they're now disenchanted. They would never have ever imagined anything like this in their lifetime. You know, I think with us, uh, at least we sort of had a taste of this from SARS. Uh, but, you know, SARS was nowhere as bad as this. But a lot of these kids, they're, they're kids, you know. Um, they're, they're big. <laughs> You know, they've all had their iPhones since they were much younger and everything. And um, so this is, I don't know, this is harder for them. This is a bit harder for them. They've had a very convenience-driven life compared to, compared to us. But um, yeah, they're, they're not used to this. They're definitely not. Yeah. That's really fascinating. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Um, for those I, I shared, some, I shared yeah. some pictures actually to David. Uh, is it possible to share those images on yeah. this? Uh, yeah, yeah, screen? yeah, sure. Let me, yeah, yeah, sure. Let me just um, enable share screen. Yeah, go for your life. Yeah. So you should be able to just share. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll share some content with uh, everyone. Just it's it's the it's the reality that um, we're facing now. To be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A sad reality. That's, yeah, that's so cool, Alan. Love love what you're doing, guys. So if ever you're in Melbourne, uh, look up Alan's restaurant and look up Charles' uh, products, the brown brown rice. <laughs> and thanks, um, Charles. Yeah. Charles was amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, lo I love how Malaysians I've noticed have always been very generous. Like a couple of times in the past, I've put out like, <clears throat> you know, kind of these kind of drives. And I, I noticed Malaysians are very, very generous. I don't know whether it's because, you know, they know what it's like growing up in a country where there's no social safety net. I think, I think the uh, free meals for students uh, just give us the opportunity uh, to come together to participate in something uh, meaningful. Uh, it's, it's the community coming together. It's nothing more than that. And it's only possible because everyone chips in. And uh, I can't do it by, by myself. Uh, Alan can't do it by himself. Neither can Charles. And I know Bridget also offered to help. Everybody wants to help. And that's the main thing. Uh, as long as we are able to do it, the students uh, get their meal and some products, some care, some even the, the, the restaurant owners even have a short chat with them so that uh, they can uh, help uh, uplift them a little bit in their spirit. Uh, it's the little things that we do. Uh, we can't 
we can't provide a solution for everything, but uh, we can do something. And that's the main thing. Exactly, exactly. Um, now, do you have a list of the restaurants and all the um, sponsors posted somewhere in Melbourne Chari Makan? Or how I, do I you? Have, I have, well, they're all over uh, Melbourne Chari Makan because there, were, there are a lot of posts uh, done before. Sure. But right at the top of Melbourne Chari Makan is a pin post. Uh, it's where the list of, uh, at the moment, is 13 initiatives. <laughs> To, together with uh, what they do, whether they do student and unemployed or only student, uh, their contact details of the owners. Um, so if anyone wants to support this initiative at all, they can just contact the restaurants directly and pay. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So guys, um, you know, uh, like I said, you can join the Melbourne Chari Makan group and look at the pinned post over there and look up the list of restaurants and just support all these businesses who are putting um, out as well. I think it's a really um, good initiative uh, to get behind and share the word around, you know, whether to people who need help who are based in Melbourne or, you know, people that you think have the potential to actually support this initiative as well. I think it's amazing. I mean, we're also busy with our lives. We're also kind of like looking inward sort of thing. It's nice to be able to do something out as well. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone kind of like uh, gets involved in this. And I think it's fantastic work there, David, because everybody's busy, you're busy. I think, you know, it's amazing what you've done with the Facebook group. Like I said, you know, a lot of uh, Facebook food <laughs> groups aren't really worth your time but David's is one of those that are really cool uh, and I'm sure Bridget will attest to that as well right uh, you know so yeah so we've known David yeah. for a long time now yeah he's not David a dodgy he's character done a wonderful job yeah 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 really selfless um I better get going uh because this young man should be in bed yeah, and he's no, uh, harassing no, uh, me no, uh, <laughs> all right um thank you so much for right. taking your time uh david really appreciate it and we're gonna get you back one day to do a, a popia skin demonstration okay for our group. no just share my just share my video it's simple like that. not my video but the video yeah. okay okay i'll look it up uh, thanks so yeah. much, uh, Charles, and thanks so much, thanks, uh, Alan, yeah, for all your work. Uh, we're going to have to keep in touch and follow your businesses, right? And thanks to everyone else, Casey, Ken, Shani, Selena, Poe, Bridget, of course, and David, and everyone else who was here earlier as well. And those who are watching, don't forget, like I said, Melbourne Chari Makan, look up the Facebook group and see if you can um, support that initiative. And if even if you don't, it's a really cool group to be in. Like I said, you know, uh, not all food groups are created equal and this one's a good one. All right. Thanks again, guys. Good night. And Thank I will you. see you again. Thanks, Ciao. Everyone. Bye, everyone. Ciao. Good night.